Hello everyone, I'm uh, Richard, and today we're going to be doing a little playthrough of Onirim, and this is going to be part of a seven-part series in which I'm going to be going through all the expansions uh, for Onirim in kind of like a little campaign style, and we're going to just do a little overview of them, and I just want these videos to show how each one of them plays, and after we do all of them, I'm going to rank them, and I'm also going to say which ones work the best together, and which ones you probably shouldn't mix. So right now, we've got our first expansion here. We have the uh, Book of Steps, Lost and Found, and plus we have this little card of spells. We're going to be trying to uh, get unlock all these doors, um, because we're dreamers walking around uh, and stuck in a maze of dreams and these doors are going to be our key to escaping and basically what this expansion does is before we start uh, we shuffle this deck of door cards and then uh, lay them out in a random order on the table and in the normal game of Onirim uh, you can just acquire any door at any time however uh, in this game it gets a little harder because you need to acquire doors in the order left uh, to right uh, as shown here. So we need to get the green door first, then the red door, then these blue doors. Uh, it sounds tricky, however we have some spells and uh, based on how many cards we remove from our discard pile we're going to get to cast spells. Uh, so this first spell right here we get to take um, five cards from the bottom of this deck, pick one to put on top of the deck, and uh, put the remaining four at the bottom. For this one, if we discard seven cards, we're going to get to move around these doors. And you don't have to switch doors that are adjacent, so I could switch this tan door over to this red door. And I think I just messed up uh, my door line here. Um, I don't remember what it was uh, initially, but we'll just play with this one right here. Sorry about that. And then uh, if we discard uh, ten cards right here, we'll be able to cancel out the effect of... Oh, one of these nightmare cards. And what these nightmare cards do is uh, they're going to force you to discard cards from your hand or from a draw pile. Um, they're very nasty, but there aren't too many in this deck. However, it is going to be a little hard to get these doors uh, in order from green all the way to tan. Uh, so let's give it a little shot. And for all you guys, I will be cutting out the times I shuffle the deck because there is quite a bit of shuffling in this game. I don't really mind it. However, it's not very uh, entertaining for a video to watch me constantly shuffle this deck. Okay, we're going to start out with our hand of five cards. One, oh, this goes in limbo. Limbo, two, three, four, limbo, five. Okay, so we need to shuffle these cards back into the deck. And in Oni Rim, we always start out with a hand of five cards, and we're always going to be drawing up to a hand of five cards. Uh, so if we're not able to do that, um, and the deck runs out, we lose the game. So right now, we've got uh, two keys right here. Keys can be used to trigger things called prophecies. So if I discard this key right here, I can draw the top five cards of the deck. I have to discard one and then I get to rearrange them and put them on top of here. And this is good because we have these two green cards right here and I have this green card in my hand and we can get the green door. And this is also good because we can discard this nightmare right here. So we'll just arrange it like this. Um, I might want this uh, red moon, however. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it, sandwich it in the middle there so I'll be able to have it in my hand. So we know what this card is. It's green sun, and uh, you'll be playing cards to this sort of dream line uh, right here, and you cannot uh, play two symbols uh, of the same symbol um, sequentially, so I could not do this because it's a sun symbol and a sun symbol. But like I said, I won't be explaining all the concepts in the game. This is more for people who are interested to see how each of the expansions play if uh, you have not tried it out yourself. Okay, so we've got four cards in our hand. Let's draw up. We've got a red moon, play our green, our green moon, and this should be the green key. So we unlock that green door, and we're just going to dig through the deck. We've got our green door right here, and what I like to do is I like to cover up uh, sort of these 
slots with the doors that I find um, instead of having to create a separate line uh, for the doors. We need to draw up and we got a tan card. Hmm. I would love to get those later. Uh, I only have two cards in my discard pile so I won't be able to do much with that. But let's see, let's go for this red door. Um, I usually get lucky and pull red suns a lot so I'll start out with a red sun and try to sandwich that uh, red moon in there. So play that, draw another card. And see, there we go. <laughs> we got our red sun. So we'll play it down here. Things aren't looking so bad right now, uh, but uh, you will be amazed at how quickly uh, this game can go down south. All right, we're gonna drop to five cards. Oh, and would you look at that? Wow, I can't believe our luck because uh, we've got a full blue set here and we can easily get that blue door. So let's, um, let's go ahead and play this um, moon here first, just in case uh, we get a nightmare and I'll need that key. All right, we got our tan door. Ugh. <sighs> that sucks because we're going to have three cards clogging up our hand uh, until we can get to the tan doors. But uh, we'll work around that. We'll see what we can do. All right, we've got our blue, blue sun right there. And then we'll play our blue key. Wow, look, look at us go. Uh, we haven't had to discard a lot of cards. We're doing really good. This is a very, very lucky hand, I have to say. Um, usually the game is more punishing than that. Uh, but that's the thing with Oni Rim and that I like about it. There's a lot of randomness and I really love randomness in my games because it makes each playthrough kind of unique. You know, sometimes you get those really good hands and it feels great. Sometimes you get the bad hands and it offers you a challenge. And then there are those middling hands. And so, I, I don't know, I just like the gameplay variability that comes with um, this very random sort of game system. Even though it's uh, random, however, there is a lot of strategy uh, involved. I don't want to make it seem like this game is just a complete uh, luck fest. Ooh, we've got a red door right here. However, uh, if we had a red key, we could unlock it right now, but we don't. So I just gotta set this uh, aside, sadly. And we'll drop to five. And we got another blue card. That's good. We can hopefully go for that blue door, but first we gotta shuffle this back into the deck. So let's start out with our uh, blue sun. And we've got a red key here. Now there are more red cards in the deck than any other color. I think tan has the least and the blue and green are equal. So I feel pretty comfortable spending this red key uh, into this discard pile. And let's prophesize. Hmm, that is not, that's not great. Um, if we had a blue moon, that would be awesome, but we do not. Uh, let me get rid of this nightmare real quick. So I guess we'll try to uh, do this first power. We have uh, four cards in our discard pile, so we just need to discard one more card. And we'll have that. I'm kind of annoyed at all the tan cards we're getting. Good thing is once we're done with the blues, uh, done with that blue door, we'll be done with the blues forever. Uh, so it's good we're getting it out of the way. So let's discard this blue sun and we'll remove these five cards from the game entirely. And we'll look at the bottom five cards from the deck. We do not have to discard one of these and we'll choose one to put on top of the deck and arrange the others at the bottom of the deck. Hmm. It is not looking good for us. Uh, I guess we'll just uh, keep trying our luck with these blues. <laughs> And uh, yeah, we want tan cards at the bottom of the deck, so we'll make sure it's there. However, we're most likely going to shuffle it, um, which isn't great. Uh, I don't really understand the whole put it at the bottom of the deck thing. Uh, but you know, it's it's not it's not my game. There's obviously a, a, a reason for it. Okay, um, well we know there's more tan cards at the bottom, but I usually like to keep tan cards. So let's get rid of this red card. Draw another card. That's a blue sun. Be nice if, if I could get like a blue key, maybe. <laughs> oh, at this point we're not getting the tan tan doors because uh, we're gonna have to discard something. We'll take a chance. We'll take a chance here. Key or no? <laughs> this is not looking good. 
Okay, we'll keep trying. All right, we've got a tan key here. Let's hope that we have something blue uh, when we prophesize. So one, two, three. Oh no, four, please, five. So like I said, it started out great, um, but uh, we're not doing so good here. Let us see. If I can get seven cards into this discard pile, I could switch up the greens. Or no, I'll switch up the tans with that. Yeah, that's what I'll do. So I'll make sure this, this tan is on top, and I'll discard some blues. So we've got one, two, three, four, five cards in our discard pile. We just need to discard two more cards. And we're good. So we've got one here. And, uh, well, I can't just freely draw. <laughs> and we'll discard that card there. So that's six. And we'll discard. We want that green, because green's coming up. Um, we'll discard one of these moons here. So that's seven. So let's use that to swap these cards right here. And you only get one swap for uh, using the spell. I mean, of course, or else that would completely break the challenge that this um, this particular expansion brings. And there is also is a hard side uh, to this. However, I want to play on the easy side because this is only my second time playing with this expansion. Okay, so we're going to go for that tan door. Drop to here. Please no nightmares. Uh, I don't think I could handle nightmares right now. All right, there we go. All right. We've got our tan door. Oh, look, it was waiting for us at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so we're going for that green door. Be nice if we could draw a green sun. So let's play that right there. Oh, I feel a nightmare coming up. Oh, this is blue door. Oh, nice. Okay, we've got our tan key. Um, let's just shuffle this in real quick. All right, uh, so let's play this green door. Oh, and look at that. We didn't even have to use our key. That's great. That's excellent. Uh, we'll just get our get our green door right there. So we've kind of overcame our little slump, our little tan door slump. I I was forgetful. I, I forgot about discarding those cards. All right, so let's draw into our hand. Oh, and look at that. We've got uh, a moon and a blue sun. So we could work on getting that uh, that blue door right there down our blue card got oh uh, oh but we can't do that okay so normally I would have been able to unlock this door with the tan key however we need to unlock the tan door last so I sadly have to shuffle that uh, back into the, uh, the deck that's that's quite unfortunate <laughs> okay well uh, let's play our blue Sun into the labyrinth oh and we got a nightmare and like I was saying I've been very concerned uh, about the nightmares because I only got two so far I think um, so we are going to see an influx of nightmares so this might be stupid but I'm going to use the key to get rid of this nightmare stick it right there and now we have to drop to two I feel another nightmare coming on red card and a green card so we were done with greens so we can discard this <laughs> One life gives you lemons. I really want that blue, you know? Oh, okay, so we got a red key. Let's prophesize a little bit. Oh, man. Um, well, we're going to get rid of this, obviously. Uh, I don't want to prophesize again, but I think I'm going to have to. I mean, maybe I have enough cards in my discard pile to do something. However, I don't want to lose the streak that I've got going with those blue cards, man. Okay, so we have large influx of red suns. We don't need to do anything about that. So we'll just whittle it down and let's prophesize again. Please, something blue. <sighs> What's the green, um, the green, the green moon. Okay, so we're gonna have to get rid of something. We'll get rid of this red card because we don't need that. Uh, what I think we're going to do, well, let's draw up to our allotted cards first. How many cards do we have here? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I'm going to discard these cards to see what's at the bottom of the deck here. So I've got one. Oh, excellent. Two, three, four, five. Now, do I want, do I want that 
blue key or do I want the blue sun? I mean, it doesn't matter because I'll be playing it. So I'll take that, uh, that blue moon. Sorry, blue moon, not blue sun. We've got to discard something. Let's discard this blue sun because we're going to get the blue moon. All right, and we'll play that blue moon. Also, if uh, there are any corrections you guys want to make, uh, YouTube is YouTube comments are infamous for making board game rules corrections in the comments. So go ahead, um, go ahead and do that uh, because you guys are so good at it. Uh, makes me a little jealous, a little jealous myself. But you know, when you're playing a game, you just want to focus on the fun. And I usually am not that much of a rules lawyer when it comes to solo games uh, because I want to have a good time. This is great because we can easily go for that, uh, that, oh no. <laughs> okay, well, let's see. Uh, let's just, do we have 10 cards in here? One, two, three, four, five, six. No, we do not. Uh, oh, alas. So let's get rid of the top five cards of this deck. One, two, three four, five. Okay, we're get r getting rid of a red uh, key. However, that shouldn't be too bad, but we do have to shuffle these two nightmares back into the deck. So you can see that uh, sometimes the uh, nightmare cards and the door cards are going to a pile off to a side. If you're new to Oni Rim, that's called a limbo pile, and that was one of the hardest concepts to grasp uh, for me when I started playing. Okay, let's get rid of that. And we have a nightmare. Don't want to discard my hand. I have such a good hand. How many cards do we have to discard? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <sighs> Excellent. All right, let's get rid of this nightmare. Uh, I don't know if it goes along to here or it stays into the discard pile. I'm just going to say it goes along with these other cards. So let's draw up to here. And we've got another tan key. So let's take one more chance. If we get a nightmare, we can just use the key. Oh, we got a blue key, so that's fine. Um, let's prophesize. Oh, there we go. We got our red moon. We've got a nightmare. Excellent, excellent. Okay, we're definitely going to win this one. Well, you know, hubris and stuff. <laughs> but we're very close to winning this one. I hope we win this one. Um, I want this green key right here, just in case another nightmare pops up. I usually don't count how many nightmares are in the deck. Uh, that's probably my fault if something happens, but I don't want to get rid of that tan card just in case. Okay, so we've got our red door, and it would be really lucky uh, if in our shuffle that tan door came over to the top. That would be really sweet. Drop to five. Oh, and it's a nightmare. Okay, good thing we had that key. See, I, I plan ahead. I'm a very good planner. <laughs> no, I'm not, but uh, yeah. Okay, we'll put our tan moon right there. Put our tan sun right there. Oh, and look, we just got the tan door, so we can use that key. And uh, wow, we actually won this game. Uh, it wasn't looking very plausible from the beginning. Uh, but I think uh, these cheap spells right here and uh, the amount of uh, deck manipulation it allows you to do also with the uh, doors up here, I think that really adds a lot of um, variety to the way you can play and it kind of mitigates the uh, luck a little bit. All right, so that is the uh, first expansion we're going to try out, the Book of Steps, uh, Lost and Found. This was the first part in our little seven-part Oni Rim campaign. Hopefully I can get production qualities up a little bit more in the next episode. I do have work so these might not come out uh, you know very close together. However I will try my best to get them out as quick as I can. Uh, Oni Rim is not a very long game although some of the expansions can make it a bit longer but I really like this one. It's a very quick, it's a very nice expansion. It doesn't take up too much residency on the table and it just kind of makes the base game of Onirim a little more challenging and uh, a little more fun. You know, it makes discarding cards and nightmares uh, seem kind of handy uh, at certain moments. I think that's really cool. Uh, so next up, uh, I think we have the Glyphs expansion. Yes, we have the Glyphs next. So tune in on our next episode, and we will be playing with the Glyphs expansion. 
until then, I'm Richard. Uh, have a good day, guys.